No, well, Nigel, last season, and I, you have to forgive me, I can't remember which pundit, but somebody on our show was questioning Taro Mings and his quality because he seems to lack consistency. He'll have some good games, but other times he'll have some bad games. Where do you stand on Taro Mings? Do you think that he has the potential to be one of the Premier League's best, truly one of the best, or not? He has all the attributes if he plays to his strengths. Which Win are? His headers, be winning his headers, being aggressive in the air, and then keeping his game simple. I think sometimes some players, you can tell they get carried away, they get lost in believing too much of what they read or the hype and actually believing they're better than what they are. You're only as good as your last game and you're going to get judged. And in the Premier League, you will be exposed. You know, you can't lie or hide or blame other players. I'm sure today people who saw the game, football fans, reporters, they would say that Tyrone Means had a very poor game. He's not doing the basics. For me, he reminds me of being like an old school, I'm sure Gellner, like an old school Tony Adams, Martin Keown. He has all the physical attributes to do that. If he plays to his strengths, he'll be fine. Because sometimes, well, a lot of times, he's becoming a bit of a liability. And the worst place you can be a liability in a team is a centre-back. You're the last line of defence before teams break through to get onto your goal, into your goalkeeper. You have to be someone that's consistent and reliable. And I remember when I covered the, um, the one a game of maybe two years ago when uh, Aston Villa played Tottenham, uh, first game of the Premier League, I told Tyrone, I spoke to him, I said to him, listen, just keep your game simple. Win your headers, be aggressive. You're not going to win every header, you're not going to win every tackle, but just be dominant in the air, be a threat in set pieces, simplify your game and you go a long way. But sometimes it's just they get so players get carried away with people telling them that, oh, you're this good, you're so good. And... You get exposed in the Premier League. It's just that simple. Gail, yeah, where do you stand on this? Uh, players sometimes seeing the headlines in the newspaper before the ball has even been kicked. Can you be distracted by that? Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Even if some players are saying that they don't read the newspaper, they don't listen to what people say, you, you always hear it. It's there. It's there and people want you to know it. And, and obviously, I don't know. I don't know the guy, but uh, one thing is for sure, you know, each position is asking for some kind of work and striker will be judged on, on goal scoring uh, statistic at the end of the season. Defenders need to be dominant and I think Nigel used the, the right word, you need to be dominant. Obviously, you're not going to be dominant for the, for the entire 90 minutes, but someone for me who was a, a, a really good example for centre-back was Company and Lescott. Both of them were, were was a good pair when we won the title and, and that's what they do. You know, The first thing they want to do is make sure that they win the duel, uh, they hurt the opponent, they hurt the striker. And, and, and I know for a fact that Vini uh, company used to enjoy those moments. He used to enjoy hitting the ball. He used to enjoy hurting the defender, uh, the striker, sorry. And in the end, that's what you want. Everything else, playing out from the back, adding uh, 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 goals uh, to, to, your, to, your, to, your, to your game, this is great, but this is a bonus. And what you need to do in, in those situations, you need to be able to close that space and perhaps make a tackle, make an intervention, to prevent from 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 the opponent from scoring a goal and and I think tonight was wasn't one of his best games. He's young and and obviously there will be plenty of other performances. But like Nigel said, the Premier League is a very very challenging league, uh, challenging league, and you get exposed really quickly if you don't if you don't think about the next game uh, quick enough.